has defeated the Grey Thresh. What a tale you've claimed for yourself, my friend. You are granted the seat of Sir Sagril and all privileges hereto, including membership in the Court of Enchantments. Alas, there is no time for celebration. There has been another incident. The king has asked for you. One similar to the plight of Sagril, I dare say. Another erratic chain of events. The Ballad of Bloody Bones has taken an unexpected turn. The great Sir Ferrara has been sent to face this new challenge. But he will need your assistance. That is how the song is sung. In every telling, Sir Ferrara falls at the hands of Bloody Bones. But he is not left to perish alone in the cold of Uduat. Sir Sagril, his night hand, comes to him. Sagril revives the fallen hero and brings him back to the lights of this summer life. Without Sagril, without you, this ballad cannot be sung. Sir Ferrara tracks the villain Bloody Bones to his lair and rescues the fair maiden, sacrificing himself in the process. This is Ferrara's most selfless act, oh, wow. so to give up his own glory for the good of another. Huh. It has always so been this way, and must be preserved like for all seasons. All these things are... Excellent. That's, that's what I'm getting. I'm, I'm Speak with King Wenson in the oratory. The it stands on the crest of Ettenmere, it where it sense. once hosted the lords and ladies of the High Court. Uh -huh. Take this potion. Cool. You will need it to revive Sir Ferrara. Unless mortals have suddenly created a method of resurrection, it's our only option. You will know when the time has come to use it. Now go, find King Wenson. The telling is in your hands now. A poor cursed soul who wanders the forest in search of his ancient love. She left him. For he was a cruel was and lonely element. villain. The rocks are cool. Now, mm -hmm. he like, takes out his rage little, on the innocent. Yeah. He is Wenton the Bold, Falcon of Detir, Annihilator of Elkmar, Captain of the Gilded Gorgon, Grasper of the Spear of Light, and Baron of the Forsaken Plain. Wenson founded the House of Ballads many seasons ago. It was meant to be a source of pride for all Summer Fay. Our glory belongs to everyone. If you must know, it is a potion I concocted with the aid of several companions. It will bring Sir Ferrara back from the brink of death, if used correctly, of course. This ballad requires his survival, and since the usual Sagril is not here to offer rescue, it is you who must do it. Many seasons ago, it was the retreat of the High King himself where he hunted with the heroes of the Court of Enchantments and was regaled with the songs of ages past. But that was long ago. The oratory, like so much of our beloved summer court, has wilted in heat of time. It is a hollow shell of what it was. The Court of Enchantments has marched south to face the threat and to quell rumors. They reside in the House Oratory in Ettenmere. We should have an episode where I go on a killing rampage and kill everyone. Yes. Ooh, I can harvest plants inside this guy's house. So it's probably not his house, but I don't care. Charge. Also, did I put another point into Detect Hidden? No. Because now I can see which direction everybody's pointing, including the Bogarts. So maybe I accidentally did, instead of putting it into blacksmithing like I thought I did? Maybe. I have no idea. 
Where I mean, I, I going? could only assume that that would help you with stealth. Am I going down? Yeah, yeah, I can tell which way everybody's pointing. Seriously, where am I going? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, wait, no. Confusion. Oh, that's why. I don't have the right one tracked. That's like all the way down. Hmm. All the way down south. I'll go turn in that other quest off camera, I think. I don't really care. Onwards. Yeah, this game has a fast travel system, which is really nice. Except for when, you know, you don't have the location to go to, and then you just have to run pa run through empty areas that you've just murdered everything in. Mm. Hooray! I don't like games where there's a oh, really fast respawn rate, though. Yeah, that's true. It's annoying. Yeah, I guess I just kind of wish as you ran along, like, bandits would jump out or something, just to make the journey a little bit more interesting than just, like... Well, uh, you've already I, I'd everything. rather not have obstacles, though. I find that yeah. resurrecting creatures are just obstacles. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess I just remember some of the first video games I got into that were RPGs was the Baldur's Gate series. Mm. And occasionally you'd run into enemies that would, you know, pop out at you as you're traveling from one city to another. Well, it, it also reminds me of, you know, various horror games. Where I, I never like it when, let's go say you're going through a mansion, you fight zombies, whatever. You go back into a room and the enemies have respawned. It's like, there's only so many corpses around here. Yeah, I could see that being less realistic, but for a game as large as this, it feels like you need just a little bit of roving monsters. Otherwise it feels very mm -hmm. empty. Oh hey, it's Arden. Were we supposed to talk with him? Yeah, this is the other Fate Weaver guy that we were... A long time ago we were supposed to talk with him? Yes. We are the most directionless hero. It's like, ooh, I this have to... This is not a hut. And what happened? Did you murder Interesting. him? You're not at all what I expected to find here. I trailed a band of Tuatha to this place. They killed the Fate Weaver. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Knowing you... You're definitely involved. But something tells me I know you better than you knew yourself. Don't you remember me? I'm hurt. No time for introductions now. The Tuatha are still on the move. I'm certain that we'll see one another again. Soon. Be on your way. She apparently knew our character before our character died. Or something. Huh. Well, I look oh. suspicious. Oh, hey! Flee the country! Rob everything! How did he just appear? <laughs> I don't know, but On I'm... cue. Arden's dead. How did this happen? Why would they have come here? Why kill a harmless old fate weaver? They couldn't know that you were headed here. I mean, so I the stingy bastard owes me a week of drinks. Like Doesn't that. mean he deserved to be you murdered. To I was hoping to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers. Somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there. Once I give Arden a proper funeral. Whenever I hear the name Arden, I always think of a unicorn. What? From the Jewel Princess series. Yeah, no. Not ringing any sorts of bells, but that's probably for the best. It's probably because I've been telling you the story of Shalkan one too many oh, times. Oh, that's the same one. Right, the Rapicorn. No, he's more like the Castratacorn. That's some kind of rape. <laughs> Well, that's only if, you know, people indebted to him break their vows of celibacy. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, right, that reminds me of my uh, terrible, terrible Ooh, books. Terrible what? You a virgin? Well, that's the question he essentially asked the main character of that book series. What would you do if Unicorn just came up to you and was like, 
you a virgin? <laughs> and then you answered, you know, honestly. And the unicorn's like, you're not a virgin. And you say no. At which point the unicorn just skewers you in the balls. <laughs> How'd you feel about that? <laughs> well, the thing is... Screw unicorns. Unicorns can't be touched by the impure. 